what's up? Head out to Cougar Buttes right now, meeting up with Ryan from AccuTune Off-Road. He's bringing out his brand new Jeep JL that he's just uh, put together a s suspension lift for. So we're gonna be testing it out out here. Um, I'm also testing out the new Fox suspension that I recently got from AccuTune Off-Road. So I'm really excited to see how everything works out here. This is easily one of my favorite places to come out and wheel. Um, also meeting up with Taco Dust from Instagram. His name's Jason. He's got a third gen Tacoma on 35s. Uh, no front locker, but um, I've played around in this area a lot without one, so it should be good. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna start uh, trying to do these longer videos. I appreciate your guys' feedback and uh, words of encouragement. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. If uh, This is a voiceover, so hopefully you guys can hear everything better and I don't need to buy a mic yet, so enjoy. I get asked a lot uh, what PSI I run when I wheel. And usually, I do just like I did right now. I air down right off the highway as soon as I get to the dirt and I go down to 15 PSI. Uh, so that way when the tires cool off and I'm doing three miles an hour on the trail, it usually puts me at about 12, 13 PSI. So that's what I run normally when I wheel. I would also like to apologize in advance for any yelling I might do on camera. Um, but I really don't want to see anybody destroy their rig on my watch. So if I feel like they need to do something different, at times I might yell. So I apologize in advance. Thanks. Straighten out, there you go. All right, straighten out. Okay, actually, if you go, I think, dude, you're looking good right now. Keep coming. Hard driver onto it. Yeah, it'll lift you back up. Okay, now straighten out, straighten out. Slow. Keep coming. Keep coming. Smooth, slow, keep it slow. You still gotta drop. 
and then just stand up out of your window and look at where you gotta go. At least that's what I do. Just go slow, you're fine. You, once you get pointed down, you'll see where you need to be. Oh, and you're dragging, you're gonna drag your hitch for sure at the bottom. Hold on, hey. Okay, it's... Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, turn passenger. And then you're gonna start hooking into it. Just go up it. Keep it steady. Uh, you're gonna wanna go passenger. Passenger, passenger. Hard passenger. Yeah, just keep it straight. Nicely done. That was way too mellow. Yeah, it was. I'd start turning driver. There you go, just creep up it, slowly. Hard driver. All right, now you're gonna start coming down. There you go, your, your driver should start climbing. Yeah, it's about to start now. There you go, there you go, straighten out, there you go, straighten it out, and now just crawl up it slowly. Straighten out, straighten out. There you go, there you go, slow. No, no, straighten out, straighten out. Turn, uh, driver. Driver more, there you go. 
ride that. Nice. Just keep it smooth. Keep it smooth. You got Falcons, you got traction. There you go. Driver! Hold on! Back it up, you gotta get more driver. Keep going. Yeah, hard driver now. You can. He might not be able to turn it. Keep backing up and turn driver. There you go. Yeah, you should be good now. Yeah, now you can straighten out a little bit. There you go. Just take that line. Driver! Driver! There you go. Hold on. Oh, you barely cleared, I guess. Keep going. Yeah.
fuck, dude? You have the front locker, right? Yep. Yeah. That, that's the game changer. Well, it looks like we're getting a front locker, babe. Because he has a front locker, too, no problem. Yep. See that front locker working. Oh yeah. Initial thoughts on the JL. It did extremely well. Uh, the three inch suspension lift that Ryan's got on this thing is giving it a lot more travel. As you can see in the front. Uh, keeps the tires planted and it really didn't struggle much at all on any of the obstacles that we did today. So yeah, pretty badass. All right, well, Jason had to take off early and Ryan and myself decided to stay. We ran a few more obstacles around Cougar Buttes and now we're just cruising through Johnson Valley looking for some whoops to run through. Um, there isn't gonna be any whoop video footage because we didn't actually stop to take any. We just wanted to see how the shocks felt and uh, we're performing right now with the current setup we're both running. it for this video um i hope i think i say um a lot anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it i have another video to put together for calico for the calico run that i did uh one week or two weeks following this one so i will try and get that edited and posted very soon and i plan on trying to get up this saturday too so i should have another video coming after that uh thanks again for following guys take care Ah. Uh.